Good morning. We're gonna go do our personal color test. This was something we actually booked ahead of time. And we're going to May Me in Gangnam, even though we were just at Gangnam yesterday. I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we're here. I just... Which one is it? There's warm tone and cool tone in general and no warm tone is yellow base and cool tone has like blue base. Warm tone has spring and autumn and cool tone has summer and winter. And there is lightness and saturation and grayishness. There are two specific types in each season, so that totally eight types. What do you guys have in your closet? Like, mostly. I think I have like this. Actually, this is spring, summer, autumn, winter. Oh, so you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and spring has this type of image. Lively and lovely and cute. And summer has modern and clean images. And autumn has mature and elegant, this kind of image. And winter has charismatic. We will check. You are in the warm type or cool type first. It will be warm, cool, warm, cool like that. You need to see the changes between the colors. Warm, cool, warm, cool, warm, cool, warm, cool. Can you see the difference? Your skin yeah. makes a little bit like smooth mm -hmm. in here, but here, the like gray color comes out, mm -hmm. and even on the lips. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dark color comes out in mm. the cool, top, cool tone. Okay. And then, like, in the cheeks as well, the color like mm -hmm. makes like a little bit grayish. Mm -hmm. And the dark circles as well. Mm. Time to hit up the lips. Wow. I can see it. Yeah. It's quite different. Yeah. yeah. See the color changing in my <laughs> Wow. So we will start from the spring break type. Mm -hmm. I think break color is not bad for you. Okay. Yeah, actually, not many people are like can't wear the bright bright colors because it's just too pops out for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. It will be okay. Yeah, the bright colors are not bad for you. It doesn't really feels like the color pops out too much. Actually, the energy is quite similar. And this is some light type. It's a bit pastel tones. <laughs> the color, how can I say? It's a bit too light for you. Mm. Okay. And a bit childish feels like. Um, the 
best part. My colors are not really there. Let's see that on the time. This is autumn mid type, so it's more golden when I tone down. And a little bit gray color is inside it. I think autumn new type really like going along with you. Yeah, it's like really like, harmonized. It makes you look more like soft. Mm. Mm. Let's see the autumn dark colors. Actually, yeah. autumn dark really look good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think a little bit more mustard compared to this color would be better. Mm. Brown color. Makes you look elegant. Dark green also good. I think brown, dark green, red, brown. All like looks good on you. Okay. Let's compare. The autumn type was also okay with you. I think in the dark colors, mm -hmm. your eyes and the features are more that comes out. So I think dark color is like better than the mid ones. And in general, brown color looks good. And let's move on to cool types. The cool tone has summer and winter. Some are light type. Actually, light types are not the best. But let's see the warm light type. Spring light. Like cool light, summer light type. No, like summer light type is not. Can I say it's a bit separated? Truly, does. Mm. Uh, yeah, the spring warm type, cool type. It washes you, it washes you out a little bit. Mm. summer mid type mm -hmm. and it's a bit girlish and toned down colors in the cool type see. actually cool tones makes you a bit gray though compared to the autumn mid type like this. This. actually the autumn base one is more like harmonized with you See more like healthier. The skin looks more smooth and healthy. And in here, it's more grayish mm -hmm. and dark circles in the color as well. Oh, like summer mid type. It's not the best color as well. <coughs> winter type. And this is winter bright color. Winter bright. Yeah. Actually, bright color is not bad for you. Compared to the warm type, uh, cool tone. It's like same red, but this is warm tone red. Mm -hmm. This is cool tone red. Can you see the difference between the colors? Warm. Cool. Yes. Warm yeah. is better. Yeah, warm is better. But I think like in the cool tone, you look more, how can I say, more like sexier or like smarter uh. <laughs> because it makes it like so like cold. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so maybe you can use it. The bright color looks good on you. Yeah. But actually better with the warm tone base one mm -hmm. than the cool tone base. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see the pale color. Actually, pale and light colors are not the best. Two darker colors are better for you. Mm -hmm. This is winter dark. It's autumn dark colors. Two warm base one. Would be better.
better in like skin tone it's more like evens out and a bit like shaded here shades it should be better with the warm tone and we will see gray scale Yeah, ivory oh. looks nicer than okay. the like white, white one. Yeah. So actually, cream or white would be better for you if you wear the like, yeah, white colors. Mm -hmm. I think dark colors are the best. Dark shades. Ivory was better than the white one. Okay. In general, neutral colors look good on you. Actually, autumn type people are going well with the neutral type mm -hmm. colors. And like darker colors, a little like this or red brown is also very good. Mm -hmm. My best product is not a dark type. These are your best colors. Wow, okay. And the best, not a mid type. If you want to look more soft and feminine, then you can use these kind of colors. Mm -hmm. And the bright, col bright colors. was not really good. Yeah. So these are not the best. It's not the best choice. Mm -hmm. So your keyword is dark colors and high, high contrast and mid type. Mm -hmm. So high contrast means you can pair like different shades of colors. Less contrast means similar color pair each other. Oh, yeah, so okay. you need a little bit of contrast. Oh, yeah. contrast in the color. Yeah, contrast in the color. Do you want to dye your hair? No, I like mm. dark hair. Yeah, dark hair. Actually, dark hair is better for you okay. yeah, than the light ones. <laughs> I think I'm this here. Mm. Okay. But actually, these are kind of dark brown colors I would put in For the jewelry? Actually, like a little bit bold jewelry. Is our bold? Bold? Yeah, bold jewelry. It's not too small because you have like the eyes and the nose or like features are quite big, right? So if you're wearing the small ones, then they cannot like be seen. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and bold jewelries are better. Okay. For you, bronze gold and or the kind of like a little bit like toned down gold tones mm. are the best for you. Toned down. Gold. Yeah. And for the silver, if you use a silver, a little bit dark silver, dark yeah, silver. one drop of black inside it would be very better for you. For the makeup, actually, yeah, you are. You can wear the thick or less, I mean smoky or smoky makeup going mm -hmm. well with you as well. So you can use like a lot of shade oh. shadows. So like brown shadows would be better. You can use like base color and like second base color and like point color and dark color. You can use like a lot of colors in your lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And eyeshadow color suggestions. So mostly like brown, brown base one will go well with you. And for eyeliners. Actually, like dark brown would be the best. Dark yeah. brown. Yeah, dark brown. Yeah. And for lips, red or burgundy or like this kind of a little bit like toned down and dark, a little bit dark colors. And like toned down red lips or burgundy or like bridge, this kind of things. Uh, okay. Around. So your total image would be like a little bit more, how can I say, elegant and sexy and that kind of thing. And like fancy makeup would we'll be going well with you too. Mm -hmm. And for collage, actually these kind of like similar colors, so bronze or like like dry rose mm -hmm. or brick color would be good. And matte foundation is better yeah, than the glowy dewy one.